Care for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood. These damn bears are driving me crazy! Ugh. Unfortunately, my apprentice doesn't take kindly to being told what to do. Good work is difficult to come by. I don't care what the Stormcloaks say. I don't care what the Imperials say. And I don't care what those awful Thalmor say. The war is tearing the land apart, and now there's talk of dragons. And I'm barely scraping by, thanks to these stupid bears. Skyrim is going nowhere, fast. Now go give those stupid bears what's coming to them. The mill is my responsibility, and that's what I care about. That's all. Understand? I just want to be left alone to do my job, and to enjoy what little free time I have when I have it. Don't know what you're talking about, stranger. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic Don. Guess they were true. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead colt. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. I don't care, but my ancestors do. You can't have it. Easy. Here, these are the keys. The hilt is in a chest in my house. Just don't hurt anyone. All right then. Heard about what you did, killing those foul witches. Well done, companion. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Until next time. Song is the life for us. Glad you're here. For a generous fellow traveler. But of course, what would you like to hear? Ismir's blessing on you. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. 
I tell you, I tell you, the Dragonborn comes. With the voice-wielding power of the ancient Nordart. Believe, believe, the Dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the Dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know, the Dragonborn's come. Afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in solitude. All right, then.
I'm right behind you. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you. Do let me know if I can be of service.
I've got a bad feeling about it. What was that? That takes care of that.
What was that? Well, that's how it's done. Skull, Bard, these are just titles. Whether you sing for love or war, all that matters is that you sing from the heart. What can I do for you? It's been my honor to perform at the Blue Palace on many occasions. His late lordship was quite the admirer. If you ask me, this damned rebellion can't end soon enough. I had to end my tour of Skyrim's courts. Too dangerous to travel. Now you can say you've met the most talented bard in all of Skyrim. To be honest, I simply can't stand some of my students. Only Aya shows true potential for greatness. The rest are just wasting my time.
you found the Bard's College Kitchen. Congratulations. Welcome to Solitude, home of the arts here in Skyrim. Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? Uh, not much, but as a bard, I find the whole affair depressing. There are no heroes in this war, no winners to be had, and no real conclusion. If you want something a bard can dig into, look to the dragons. A thousand years from now, Skyrim will have changed rulers dozens of times. But the return of the dragons, that story is once in an era. Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library, if you're interested. I have to admit, I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh, no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable, and the parts that are readable... Well, bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. O oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? find that highly unlikely, but the court will love it. I'm writing it in. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired and wicked! Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but this seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Oh, that is exciting! I'm sure the court and the Yarrow will love it. I'm, I'm writing it in now. I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Biarmo, I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. 
You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's last verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, and no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf was Numenex in human form. On moonless nights, he would spread wings and sail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Because solitude would not soon bend knee, Olaf would hurt them while his status accrued. He sacked Winterhold in dragon form and bent their minds to blame solitude. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be very generously rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Make sure that he is. Unbelievable! You have done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Soon, soon. These things must be done properly. You will be inducted Steward, as part of the festival I the itself. Reagents for my I need you to go speak to Yorn. Miss he was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Expensive. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! Yes, and I'm also aware of how necessary my divinations and wards have been in the city's defense. My experiments are all I ask for in return. Very well, but I suspect her grace will not be pleased. And? I've seen Jarls come and go. This one only became Jarl because her husband died. She'll be replaced in a matter of months. Miss Stentor, watch your tongue in the Jarl's court. On threat of what, exactly? This city wouldn't run without me. Now, if you'll excuse me, my work awaits. I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. Take care of yourself, and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. Ah, the bard to be. Did Viarmo send you? I'll tell everyone we're ready. But we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Ah, the bard to be. Did Great! Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf.
I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. Welcome, people of solitude. We of the Bard's College are pleased you. to be here to celebrate the, the burning of, of the companions. Olaf. The it is my honor to stand would not before have been you. Possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, he becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard! Like you. <laughs> yes, congratulations. You are now a full fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisip has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisip wanted me to give you. You and me. We're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Take a look. Pleasure. Burn the king. Best batch of spiced wine. Burn the king. Best batch of spiced wine I ever had. Tasty sugary cream. You've done well by restoring our festival. Of course. It would seem so. Meat pies! I want the Congratulations on getting the festival restored. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. You've done well by restoring our festival. Always good to see a fellow bard. Festival candy! 